Access for Students by Lauren Estes, The Student and the Institutional Perspective. Resource Availability. The Student Perspective. Control the learning environment is a critical part of distance ed. Students can decide where and when they learn and are able to maintain their lives independently. Distance learning increases the number of students accepted to an institution, thereby making higher education accessible to the majority of the world. However, the student is individually responsible for charges associated with internet connectivity and device maintenance. The institutional perspective. With digital content as a means of education, the institution must create accessible classes in all online formats. This can be costly in order to develop compliance with ADA and provide technical support. Some institutions, including that of universities outside the United States, have created offices on campus specifically designated to manage this overwhelming task. The number of distance education learners and programs are on the rise, and though there is no brick and mortar cost associated with this increase, the rising cost of creating all online material creates new costs for institutional funding models. Access for students of all backgrounds. The student perspective. Distance education is a great pathway to higher ed for non-traditional students. Students are able to continue working, which remedies many cost barriers to higher education. Some even pay for coursework as they can afford it. There are increasing numbers of first-generation and non-traditional students enrolling in distance education. These students oftentimes have family responsibilities and work responsibilities, but are still able to attend class without uprooting their lives. Students in these categories have noted that they would not be taking coursework were it not for the accessibility of distance education. This means the institution is responsible for the necessary supports for non-traditional and first-generation students, such as providing tech support for older students and financial aid information to first-generation students. By intentionally offering these supports, institutions can increase their reach for recruitment and enrollment numbers, specifically in that of these underrepresented student groups. Access for Students with Disabilities. The Student Perspective. The distance education model is well suited for students with disabilities or illnesses which make it challenging or even may present them, prevent them from attending coursework in person. Moreover, it has been found that some students with disabilities prefer this method as it provides them an added layer of anonymity. This has led to the finding that there are higher levels of undocumented disabilities within distance education than there are in seated programs. However, in 2009, a study gauging the opinions of students in distance education programs, students with disabilities ranked their overall experience lower than that of their non-disabled peers. For the institution, this means that distance education programs must be compliant with ADA and the parameters from the Disability Services Office, offering supports like tutorial, tutorial support, variance and assessment methods, and magnification software are ways to maintain compliance. It is vital, however, that accessibility of the content does not alter the rigor of the content in any way, which can be challenging when the institution also attempts to maintain compliance. Improving access to distance education. The student perspective. It has been found that students who participate, excuse me, practice self-efficacy and seek additional assistance illustrate a higher degree of success in distance education. Distance ed students have illustrated a preference for virtual lecture model where they can actually see their teacher just as they would in a seated classroom. These teaching models have been proven to improve comprehension and contribute to higher achievement. Consistent and clear communication with instructor and peers are a pivotal part of program enha enhancements. The institutional perspective. Programs would find it useful to teach skill sets surrounding self-efficacy. The interaction between the instructor and the learner is what determines the effect of an institution. Student success increases with access to the instructor. Further improvement dictate that resource allocation be lobbied for and spent wisely in order to continue progress in distance ed programs. Providing students with virtual lecture options is a great way to develop success at minimal cost. Assessment at the completion of the program or at the completion of individual courses is a great way to assess additional suggestions for future improvement and it also encourages the self-efficacy skills mentioned previously.